Nagle, just three targets in week two, uh, but he had six in week one. He led all their wide receivers in snap rate last week. So I like Flynn Nagle there, $13. He returns punts, which is not like valuable because like he's probably not going to return a punt, but it does signal that they want the ball in his hands. I think that's, that itself is valuable. As far as Bedette goes, he's $15, and he got hurt early last week. Uh, he still played 69% of the snaps, nice. nine targets, two of those were deep. The one question that I have is that Jazz Ferguson is $12. I didn't play in week two because of injury. I know you love Jazz, uh, and he was not on the injury report on Tuesday. That adds in a little bit of ambiguity to this this wide receiver room here. So I am very okay with Nagel, Bedette, and potentially Ferguson, uh, and they're all very cheap to compensate for Ferguson being there. I think I'd rank them Nagel, Bedette, Parham, Ferguson. Uh, but like, I'm kind of okay with all of them. You can play a tight core centered on Dallas. Maybe correct. Maybe step away from Houston, who's probably going to be the chalkiest, the, the chalkier of the two offenses. Uh, but if you play Landry Jones and potentially two of these guys, and, and uh, you kind of rotate in, try to hit on the right stacks. I think that's a very viable way to go. And that, that might be, I won't say my first thought, but yeah. it's going to be up there for me because uh, this is a, a pretty easy team to like now. 